I'm taking Oatmeal Tan from Coastal Scents on a Wet n Wild blending brush and just using this as my transition shade and basically, you know, just throwing it all over my eyelids so that way it helps me blend everything out towards the end when I use more darker shadows. And I'm taking Harvest, Harvest Brown on a Coastal Scents Pro Fluff ben Blending Brush, I think that's what it's called. But I'm just doing the same step, obviously, but kind of just working it more directly into the crease and the outer corner. I will be going up to darker shades. I'm just starting off light and then going up. Taking Chocolatier from Coastal Scents as well, I'm going to be using a Smashbox blending brush and mainly just focusing this on the outer corner, working its way into the uh, middle part of my crease, but mainly focusing it on the outer corner. Then taking Deep Roast from Coastal Scents on the same brush, I'm just really focusing this on the outer corner only, just tapping it, blending it, tapping it, blending it until I get the desired uh, intensity that I want the brown to be. Then I'm taking the Nude Stick Eye Pencil Sheer Color in the shade Burnish and then Coastal Scents. Boca Mocha. On top of that, I was just using the Nude Stick stick as a base to help this color really stick. And this is really pretty. This is my first time using this Coastal Scents shade right here. And then taking Incognito on another Coastal Scents blending brush, I'm just really just tapping this on the outer corner, not bringing it anywhere else because I just want the darkness to be mainly, mainly focused on the outer part. And then once again, just make sure everything is blended out as best as you can so there are no harsh lines. Then taking the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette as always and the Sigma Lash Fan Brush. I'm just using this to highlight my brow bone. And then just taking a wipe, cleaning up the mess, and applying my eyelashes, which are Annie Tude in the shade in the style sassy. And then this is going really fast. But uh, for face makeup, I'm using the NYX uh, first base setting spray and the Wet n Wild Coverall primer. I'm just using this to prep my face before I start applying foundation. I didn't get a clip of my foundation but I did use the L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation and I'm just applying this with the Real Techniques. Um, I don't know the name of it but clearly you can see it's the pink one and it's angled and I'm just using this to really work my foundation into my skin just you know applying it all over my face. And then I will end up using a sponge afterwards just to help um, really get the foundation to settle on my face as opposed to just, you know, moving it around with the brush. I find it looks best when I use a brush first and then I just pounce away with my sponge to really just work that foundation to settle nicely onto my skin so it doesn't look too like just, I just threw it on basically. I hope that makes sense. I'm taking my favorite concealer. I'm using the NYX Gotcha Covered Waterproof Concealer and I'm just applying it with my finger for some reason. I don't know why I did, but you know, it doesn't matter if you use a brush or a finger. And I'm just taking this little baby sponge and just blending out everywhere where I put the concealer, which you can obviously see is under my eyes, my forehead, the bridge of my nose, and my chin. <laughs> And then taking my favorite powder to bake, I'm using the Airspun Translucent Powder to just apply it right underneath my eyes. Basically where I put the concealer, I am oily if you didn't know, so baking for a while really helps me not get oily throughout the day, basically. And then taking Ciate London Star Island Bronzer on a Coastal Scents, just a regular angled brush that came with the set. I'm just using this to bronze up my face. It is pretty light, you can't really tell, but I'm going to use this as an outline for where I'll actually be doing my contour. Uh, this is a really pretty warm brown, so that's why I like using it to bronze. And then using the Hula, then I'm using this Royal brush. I don't know the name of it, but I'll have everything listed down below. And I'm using it because it is kind of squished 
in a way to really help me get a nice contour. That's why I like using this brush. And it's little, so it's easy for me to take, <laughs> even though I would take whatever. But, you know, and then I'm just using the same translucent powder and the little sponge to just bake underneath the contour just to clean up any mistakes because I really like the... It's not going to be a sharp contour, but I like cleaning it up with powder, basically. I don't like just leaving it. And then for that powder that I had baking underneath, I like to pat it into my skin before I just sweep it off. But basically, that's just what I do. I just make sure it's really settling into my skin, and then I sweep it off so that way I don't move any of the makeup anywhere. Taking the e.l.f. Highlight and Concealer Duo Little Thing. I'm just using the white part, which is a base for my highlight. And I really like this. It's really cheap, and it's really nice. It's a nice base, but I'm just using the sponge. It works fine with a finger. It does not matter what you use. But I'm just basically applying this um, onto my cheekbones, and then whatever's left over on the sponge, I'm putting it on my nose and above my lip. And I'm actually going to be using an eyeshadow today. I'm taking a break from my City Color Highlight Trio. But it is an Essence Highlighter. I don't know that, or Essence Eyeshadow, I'm sorry. I don't know the name of it, but once again, everything would be listed now below. And I did just apply this with a Smashbox blending brush. It is their number 10 brush, which, you know, it worked really nicely, but it does not matter what you use. Taking the Rock uh, blush from Benefit, I'm just using a Smashbox blush brush to just kind of help blend in my highlight and my contour so everything is just nicely blended together and then just wiping away the powder underneath my contour with a Coastal Scents powder brush. Taking the DOU CCE uh, Smoldering Eyeliner Pencil. I am running low on my Ciate London uh, eyeliner so I am using this one. I really like it. I definitely recommend it but basically just throwing on some brown shadows underneath my eye to help blend out the liner and you know highlighting my inner corner but this is how the eyes turned out I love the way it turned out obviously and then for the lips I'm just using the new line of Ciate London uh, liquid velvets their liquid velvets are amazing I don't know how many times you know I've said it but they are my absolute favorite liquid lipsticks I always go back to these but I did just mix two colors so I just mixed the colors Dazed and Bittersweet. I believe I used the shade Bittersweet first, which is this one. I could be wrong. I'll have them in order down below. But I basically just did this darker one first on my lips. And then I will use the lighter shade just directly in the center of my lips. And, of course, just blending it out as best as I can so there's no any, you know, lines. I wanted kind of like an ombre effect. But... Um, just blending it in with my finger and then to set my face I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Spray and this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed it. I love the way it came out but again thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. Love you guys. Bye.